Okay, in this session, we're going to cover some more basic commands. Uh, and the first one we're going to touch on is actually not really a command at all, but more of uh, a, a useful tool. Uh, it is the tab key, and what it does is it helps you um, auto-complete names or pass, um, stuff like that, so that you don't have to type in those really long names. Um, the tab key will help you out there. So, as you just saw, I typed in an H. Uh, I'm going to hit the tab key once. Uh, it doesn't bring me back any um, results because uh, there's more than one program out there that I could run with an H. So if I hit tab again, now you see that actually because I hit tab twice and there were several different options that started with an H, um, it now shows me a list of all those options. Um, that's a pretty handy tool to, to, to have for uh, typing in, uh, as I said, long file names and such like that. Uh, another thing I wanted to cover real quickly, um, the H, uh, as you see there is lowercase, but in Linux, um, Linux is case sensitive. So actually if I do the same thing with an uppercase H and I hit tab, tab again, now you see that the, the results are actually uh, quite different. There's only two words, uh, two commands rather, that I could have ran that start with a capital H. And where, where these um, names are coming from is actually the path. So I just wanted you to be aware that uh, only names that are going to be found here with this tab tool are actually um, commands that are accessible from the path. And if you're not quite sure what your path is, uh, you can type in echo dollar path. And then you'll see that this is actually the path of the user that I'm logged in as in as which is root right now so that's all of the locations where these files would exist all right um, we covered uh, briefly ls uh, cd and pwd so i just wanted to re recover those you can see i'm actually in the root folder here um, if i want to change directory i can actually uh, do a cd um, dot dot will actually take you up one level and as you can see now, I'm actually in the uh, root of the drive. Uh, another uh, quick tool here that we want to show is the alias command, or actually what what can be aliased. And in this scenario, um, I'm most interested in seeing what LL does. So you see here that the alias for LL is the LS minus L with the color equals auto switch set. So that's what we showed you um, earlier. If I did an LL now, you see that actually uh, the output is um, the long listing. Um, so that's a great tool there. Uh, another one that uh, comes up quite often that you'll use is the cat command. Um, you can cat any file. In fact, in this scenario, I'm going to see what's inside of that installed version file right here. So I'm just going to type in cat. And IN, I'm going to hit the tab key, and you see that it actually auto filled that name. When I hit enter, that's exactly what's inside of that file. Okay, so that was the um, tab key. Uh, case sensitivity, we told you about a little bit of CDLS PWD. Um, the alias command, which then showed you the LL or the long listing, and the cat command. That's all I have for this session. Thanks for watching.